what it do, internet. This is This Weekend, where we give a retrospective view of this week and past decades. I'm your host, Kawhi Kirk. I'm Ray Nitus. And I'm Big Tom. <laughs> All right, killer team. What happened this week in the second week of January in 1990? The real I think things. I'll take this one. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Super Bowl 27 is played in Pasadena, California at the Rose Bowl. Where the Dallas Cowboys beat the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, they for the second time. I think the Bills beat themselves. Huh, Kirk? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. The Cowboys are there. <laughs> Yeah. They got the prize. Yeah, Let me see. They won, uh, what what is, what is they won 27, 28, and 30. So this was the first one, the Buffalo Bills' third Super Bowl in a row. And I think yeah. the Cowboys won this one 42 to 10, 35 to 10. Something like that. What does Something. Bill stand for? Boy, I love losing Super Bowls. <laughs> also this week, the Elvis Presley commemorative postage stamp. <laughs> Let me try that one more time. The Elvis <laughs> Presley commemorative postage stamp goes on sale. And he said, thank you very much. <laughs> I think it was the one where it was, come on, on, baby, let me live my soul. Was it Fat Elvis? I think it was Fat Elvis. Fat Elvis. No, that, that stamp, no. I think he was in the black jumpsuit. The, the, oh, okay. Oh, I remember that, the that, house that, rock? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know. Well, hopefully the graphic is right. <laughs> 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 Ain't nothing but a hell no. Also, we have... MTV hostess Martha Quinn. Martha. What did you say, Martha? <laughs> Mary's longtime boyfriend, Jordan Tarlow. What did you say, Martha? How did that make news? Yeah, because. Um, I guess Martha I Quinn was big there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put it on there now. Yeah, so we just run. Uh, Salute to Martha Quinn. Quinn. Sometimes I put stuff in there. MTV air. Pioneer. Martha Quinn got married. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we needed to know that. Independent, independent presidential candidate Ross Perot publicly returns to politics, and this is where uh, Bush, Bush, well, yeah. Bush oh. says that he one hundred percent is the reason why Bush lost that election to Bill Clinton. But really, hey, you know, he's a come, he's a go. Yeah, because he split the Republican vote in half. All right, so, bro. Ooh, he, he, he came in bro. as an independent, but he was a billionaire. Ross Perot, he just had mad money. That's he all. Like, I he, yeah, he had the money, just like mad. Mitch. Romney had the money mm. and he tried to buy his way in. Ross and then we, we finally got. Didn't he own like Trump. Texas or something? I don't know. You guys talk. Jerry Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that was only Dallas. Him All and right. Jerry Ewing. The five songs on the radio this week in the second week of January in 1993. Number five. Ooh, I got that. Oh, I guess Tom got that. Oh, See, sorry, was, no, no, that, that was it. No, I was going to hit, hit it, but Tom got that. You can have the next one. Oh, you can well, have the next one. No, 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 no. Definitely, that's that's Kurt. <laughs> I want to see you, baby, rump like a rump shaker. All I want to do is zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Rump shaker, Rex and effects. It's Teddy, ready with the one, two, checker. checker. Rex and effects when hey. I'm the when I'm the rocker. That's, that song is the best when it comes to the four year old version. Eddie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you late tonight. All right. <laughs> so go ahead, Ray. You want to take number three? Well, boys to men in the still of the night. Of course, that's what I got. I felt like I was singing a song tonight. <laughs> I think you were. I went to a long rendition of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was think I was singing a Shanice. Yeah. I was like, hey, we got to read these. I, I miss Shanice. She was nice. Yeah, she was nice. But boys number to men. Number two. Hot. Oh, big time. And if I am ever, ever fall in love, in came out I had downloaded that song it took three days <laughs> but when I got it I was like acapella one was good yeah, yeah I was gonna say the acapella one was good number one so I, I, was I, I think I will we should skip number one so that nobody Houston. butchers this song we're not gonna <laughs> sing we're not gonna sing it okay okay then do it again do it, say it again and the number one song this week is I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston mm. rest in peace Rest in peace. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> that's my else. favorite <laughs> woman singer of all time. All right, better than Mariah. Me and Mariah no. go back like I don't like you, Mariah. <laughs> I love Whitney. Mariah. Mariah, nice. Six hundred million dollars. I get over all the all her stuff. I get over it. She was always chasing Whitney. 
um, movies released this week. Nowhere to Run, Ooh. starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, Rosanna Arquette, Kieran Culkin, very little young Kieran Culkin, <laughs> and Ted Levine, who always played the bad guy in the 90s. The muscle from Brussels. The muscle from Brussels. Box office on this one, $64 million. Nowhere to Run. Killing them. Killing them. That was Van Damme's years. Yes. Ray yeah. Nidus. Early 90s? Mm-hmm. He had that block. Bless work. Late Bless 80s, early 90s, man. Also, Brand Van Damme, Van Damme, Brass Knuckles. The My Left Foot of Fury when <laughs> Jim Carrey was on the Zephyr of Living Color and uh, he was playing My Left Foot because he was stuck in the thing and Brand Damme, Brass Knuckles. Also in theaters. <laughs> Alive, starring Ethan Hawke, <laughs> Vincent Spano, and Josh Hamilton. Box office, $36.7 million. Yeah, man, that was what the Hamilton. soccer players got yeah. stuck in the mountains and they like, eat yeah. each other. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. you look good. You look tasty. Kurt would get eaten first and you start off eating the foot. Nah, man, you don't Kurt even would eat the foot. You, 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 you look like you got a lot of, some, a lot of pork rail. I'm like, ah. I'm like Tom, there's hell of meat. There's hell of meat. Not this one. You want to eat five times a day. Yeah, I know. You have to give me one. Dude. Hey, we got to get rid of this guy first. He's eating too much ass. Tom, stop eating that ass. ass. Pork butt? <laughs> Ray butt. All right. Oh, shit. It's still in theaters. We got Trespass starring Bill Paxton, rest in peace, Ice T, Ice Cube, and William Sadler. And then we made a little bit of 13 million, 13.8. Hey, I watched that in the theater. William though. Sadler? He's still alive. Oh, okay. Don't be putting <laughs> death on William Sadler. He's like, I'm still working. You son of a bitch. He's about to be in Bill and Ted's new movie, coming back as the Reaper. Mm-hmm. Bill and Ted got a new movie? Yeah, yeah Bill man. and Ted 3. They're back. Bill S. Yeah, Preston man. Esquire no. and Ted Theodore Logan. I do not want to see Keanu playing. Man, it's Dude. already done. Not after yeah. John Wick. Come on. It's all coming at the same time. John Wick 4, <laughs> Matrix 4, and Bill and Ted 3 and 4. Uh, They're doing Tom, a movie Matrix Tom, too? You know, watch the show. <laughs> watch the show. They're dropping it at the same same month, same day. Nostalgia is just... addictive. And we're here to deliver a fatty size dough. Don't be stepping on my lines. Please like, share, and we'd like to hear what you think. Leave us a comment down below and let your opinion be heard. And this was what, what it was. Jerry. Man, seriously? Ah, uh, uh, Adonis, pull yourself together. Together, 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 together.